Hello and welcome to another video of the IT Career Guide YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to find jobs that are specifically labeled for remote work on Indeed.com. Indeed and LinkedIn are the two job search engines of choice for me. If I'm in the market looking for work, those are the two places I don't really bother with anything else. So with the pandemic, um, you know that um, many, many companies sent their employees to home to work from home. Along the way, companies realized maybe we don't need that expensive office space and they got rid of the offices or are closing them down, reducing the number of people in the offices permanently and are offering permanently remote jobs. So that's good for those employees in that case that already worked for the company. But um, if you are looking for a job, well, there are now a lot more companies in the United States that offer these type of jobs. So, and there will always be new job openings in one way or the other. And in this video, I want to show you, if you go to indeed.com, how you can uh, do a job search and find these specific jobs and then hopefully land the job of your dreams or the job with the appropriate salary for you uh, to give you that ability to live wherever you want to live or if you want to travel, that you can travel. So let's get started. So in this video, we want to take a look at the website indeed.com and we want to do a job search and we want to try to find remote jobs. So as uh, mentioned in my LinkedIn video, um, remote jobs really have become a much bigger thing since the pandemic started. A lot of companies realize that it's uh, really a good way to get talent from different areas of the country. Um, or employees have uh, recognized that if they were working and living in a, a high cost of uh, living area, that if they can find a job to go remote, um, that they can move into other areas of the country and save a lot of money along the way by reducing their cost of living. Uh, I mentioned uh, in the other video that companies like Google, even though if you apply right now, the jobs will be remote, um, but they will require most of their employees to come back to an office for at least several days per week um, if the jobs are labeled over previously office-based jobs. So just be aware when you go and look at these job listings and postings, uh, check with the companies, is this job just temporarily labeled for remote or is it permanently? And then the other thing I want to point out is when you look for remote jobs, a lot of companies um, are, I don't want to say sneaky, but um, they also realize, hey, if we pick people um, that work remotely, uh, we can lower our uh, salary cost by offering lower pay. So that kind of uh, defeats the purpose in one way if you are looking for these type of positions and you still want to make the same money as before and then move to a low cost of, uh, of living. But uh, yeah, I can understand companies. I mean, if they can get rid of offices, it reduces the cost. If they now can say, you know what, why do we pay Bay Area salaries if we can get an employee from Denver, Colorado or Albuquerque, New Mexico or uh, anywhere else in the country where the salaries are significantly lower. So it could be really that they're trying to take that double dip in a certain way and uh, A, get rid of the office and B, pick people that work in areas where the cost of living is significantly lower and uh, so they can offer a salary based on that other location. So let's get started. We'll take a look here. So you can see I had some recent searches on the screen. We'll ignore those. Um, I already have in the where field the word remote, but keep it here. Uh, just like in the other video, we search for IT systems administrator. And there it is. We'll just select that. We hit find jobs and um, the website delivers job results back. Very similar to um, uh, LinkedIn, you have filters up here on top. So you want to make sure that you select the right filters because even that I put in the word remote up here does not necessarily mean the search results are really showing jobs that are labeled for remote. So here's the remote button. Uh, we go in there, it shows 509 results. Now you can see that the color changed. Now really we have the filter set as a requirement. Those are the jobs 509 that are labeled as remote. Just like on the LinkedIn video, uh, we want to take a look at the date posted because right now it shows everything. 
um, LinkedIn only offers you uh, the last 24 hours or the last seven days indeed has something in the middle. And uh, with the current employment market, I would recommend that you uh, pick the last three days. So we do that, it changes the color of the button. And let's see, we got this down from 509 to 43 results. Now you can change the sort order here and you can say, I wanna sort by date, not by relevance. Relevance is remote. So we'll just change this to date. Uh, we're not changing anything else here at the moment. Um, we just wanna take a look and see what these search results look like. So here we have a network and computer systems administrator with General Dynamics in uh, Ridgecrest, California. So I would assume that there's most likely some security clearance required uh, since it's a, a contractor for the uh, government. Um, if you're not familiar with General Dynamics, uh, go and look them up. So I would expect this here, but also reading all weapons information system, I'm pretty sure there is some security clearance required. Uh, then we have a systems administrator and IT support with Prairie Mills Baking Company in McDonald's, Tennessee. So my guess would be this is a smaller company. Um, this might play a role in regards to the um, salary. But if you are trying to make that move from a help desk into a systems administrator position, I would take a look. Um, they're looking for Linux and Windows, um, but that they also have IT support in here. Uh, gives me the feeling that this position might be a mix between systems administrator and help desk. And if you're really trying to make that jump, this would be perfect because you're still in a familiar area, the IT support, and you get into the systems administrator area. And um, hopefully based on the company, um, you have the ability to learn. Maybe you're being mentored. Don't necessarily ask to be mentored. Um, that's uh, not necessarily what the companies are looking for. They don't wanna pay you um, so that they have to mentor you. So just keep that in the back of your head. You might not wanna point that out. If they do, that's a different story, but you wanna walk in with confidence to that job interview and uh, point out that you have good knowledge and um, sometimes you just have to learn stuff on the fly and a lot of systems administrators are surviving by Google only and there's nothing wrong with it if you know how to do a Google search if you're quick on your feet. So let's go through here. Here's another one, Senior Network and Cloud Systems Engineer. Um, that is a very interesting area, specifically Cloud Systems Engineer. So that would be of interest for me. What concerns me by reading this is downtown area in Jacksonville, Florida. So I would definitely check with this company, is this job permanently remote or do they expect you to come back to the office? I personally do not like working in a downtown area of any American city. It's uh, just uh, cumbersome to get there. Parking is expensive. Any type of food is expensive. It's just um, not my thing. So um, just be aware. Then we have IT support technician desktop administrator. This is another one of these positions where if you are trying to get from the help desk into systems administrator, I would say this is probably um, a hybrid position. It's still geared towards a desktop, but um, my guess is there could be a lot of work in here that is related to something like SCCM, where um, you deploy and manage desktops um, probably with the help of a real systems administrator, but it's like a hybrid position, so definitely take a look. Junior systems administrator, another one here um, that's uh, potentially a good jump from the help desk uh, and to uh, systems administration. Again, if you have the right credentials, uh, you, you walk into the interview with confidence, um, that, might be just, that might be just the right thing here to move forward. Then we have a help desk specialist system administrator. Um, the salary is not very high. Um, I would think this is most likely 80% help desk and they added a little system administrator. But if you wanna make that move and uh, you're working in that area of this salary, you know what, there's no damage done if you just go and change jobs for the same salary, but you gain experience on the other side. In IT, um, very often when you switch jobs between companies, you make easily 10, 20, 25% more salary just by switching companies. So let's go through here a little bit more systems at uh, systems admin support engineer, IT specialist. Um, this might be another one of these hybrid positions. It's most likely just help desk. 
Um, here's one for 80 to 90,000 a year Linux system administrator. So if you are great with Linux, I would apply here. If you're on the Windows side of things, um, sorry, but that is not for you. Uh, senior systems engineer performance, um, agile, based, uh, agile based delivery of system components and enabling enterprise web portals. Sounds very interesting from the work here, just by looking at the short uh, snippet. Um, but my guess would be with the word senior, um, if you are trying to become a junior systems administrator or get into systems administration by itself, um, don't even apply, don't even bother. So there are a couple more positions here, but that's really how it works. Um, you put in the title, it puts the word remote in or even leave it blank or put your own city in. Once you're on the next page of the job results, select remote, make sure you select the time frame. I would not select salary estimate here on Indeed. It's not very accurate. And if a company doesn't provide that information, um, you might not even see that job. Um, you can take a look at certifications. There's a whole bunch here. Um, so some employers have added that information and that's why the red dot is here. Um, so once you click on here, network and servers, uh, you can see Active Directory, Microsoft Windows Server, LAN, TCP IP, blah, 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 SCCM, I mentioned that. So you can help with the selection a little bit. I usually would not select those. I wanna see everything. I go and look at the job listings and then um, make my own decision. So that's how the job search on Indeed looks like when you search for remote jobs. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And uh, yeah, if you can share the video with your friends or peers, if you feel they might get some value from it, I appreciate it as well. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.